talking about mag lockback and it starting to fail more than anything. Uh, I ran into Willie in Florida. Uh, we're buddies now. He sent me his staccato. He's like, hey, man, the mags don't lock back that much. Uh, and he typically runs Prodigy or Staccato mags. So I'm going to demonstrate the issue. Uh, no lock back. So the first question is, is this a mag problem or a gun problem? Um, that one finally did it if you do it a bunch of times. Um, so we're going we're gonna to stick an Atlas mag in here and lock nice positive lock back. Different Atlas mag, nice positive lock back. So here's the thing that we know. Um, the, the It's not the mag tube difference here, and, and uh, for the most part, the slide stop here is working correctly. Uh, we don't jump way into that. But these mags, so this one doesn't work at all, are suffering from uh, probably spring failure. So I'm going to just quickly swap out the spring and follower in this mag. You can do this live. So I'm going to keep their base pad, and the follower might be fine, and it might not. I don't know, but um, a lot of times you can change just the spring if you want to save a few bucks. But if you change the spring and the follower, sometimes it works a little bit better. But so that's an Atlas follower, Atlas spring. There's your lock back. And just for fun, we'll do the same thing in the staccato. And so I think. There's a lot of folks out there I'm hearing are suffering from um, from uh, spring or uh, lockback failure once the gun's already running in the system. And, uh, and then here's the second thing, and um, Willie, I'm just going to let you see this video so you know what's wrong. But uh, if you guys can see that, that is um, that's powder residue, so that's unburnt powder. But these mags are filthy and. Oh, this one's bad, bad. I don't know if we, uh, I don't have a flashlight. Well, I do have a flashlight and it died in my pocket. Um, this mag is filthy if you can't tell. I don't think you're gonna be able to see in that too. Oh yeah, this, you can see it all down in there. So this has probably been dropped a bunch of times and it's got sand and powder. Uh, but what'll be cu curious here is if our stuff will fix that. Now, he, here's the thing, I am by no means in any way advocating that we run these things this dirty. So the thing you've got to know about a 2011 platform is that you have to clean the mags. The, gut, the mags are so wide and the bullets get so next to each other like this that you can't have any grit in there. They won't, it, it's, they're not gonna work right. But it, massive improvement. So the thing you got to know is the Atlas spring in particular is an oversized spring and it's a higher quality spring. So like this is the cheater trick STI tries to bend those up so that, that it doesn't really work. But um, look at how much bigger that spring is. No capacity change with our spring, but you want these overpowered springs. So I don't know, springs are less than 10 bucks. Spring and follower kits um, probably add another seven or eight bucks. Um, but that is the best way to get maximum performance out of your um, tubes, whether they be Atlas tubes or Duramags or STI tubes. Um, and then please clean your mags every now and then. Um, I know it, it, you can run them until they don't work if you're in kind of some kind of training environment, but if you're carrying these as a duty gun or shooting competition or everything, basically every time they hit the ground, um, they got to get cleaned. And then if you shoot them two or three times and whatever powder this is, is this is really, you know, crappy powder. So. Um, you probably got to clean them every three, two or three times you shoot them if they don't hit the ground um, and you're just doing training. But they do not like sand. This, this system will never be particularly uh, friendly to sand. So change your springs. Uh, I don't, to my knowledge, no one's making a spring nearly as good as ours, but save your old tubes. Um, um, tubes base pads are good. Even sometimes, and we designed our spring just so everybody can see to work with the other followers. So they should, sometimes a little bit of work to snap them in, but they should work with everybody else's. So um, if you're trying to save a few bucks, springs only, and then we say bare minimum, change your springs once a year. If you're a competition guy, probably twice a year. Um, and if you're a duty guy who leaves them loaded up, um, probably at least once a year. Uh, maybe if you want to be on the air side of caution, you do it twice a year. So. Um, super good way. We're going to tune this gun up um, before we send it back, and we'll we'll get Willie all new uh, mag springs, and um, he'll be ready to rip. 
hope to see you on the range soon.